welcome back to the channel we've got a pretty windy day out here it's usually windy out in the country here we've always got a good breeze but it's extra windy today and as you can see i got these shade cloths put on i got two 20 by 20 shade cloths i'm gonna head in the greenhouse so we got our shade cloths on here and we also set up these solar lights i have got these just kind of haphazardly hanging at the end here but for the most part it looks like a nice little tunnel lighting system all hooked up to a solar panel and that i kind of wanted to do a review on these lights on a cloudy day it's been an overcast day we have not had any solar activity coming through just what's coming through the thick clouds we've had nothing but storms for the last couple days the temperatures have not been the best for springtime and for sprouting plants and trying to get everything rolling for an early spring season here brought some of our figs i've got tons of plants out here oh i wanted to give a review on these lights here i wanted to walk out to the other side of my greenhouse and just check out this little solar panel. We've got two little buttons here, one to turn it on and one to set the modes. Now the modes can change and you can do a slow dim pulse. I just want it to run normally and light this up at night when I'm working in here and potting up small plants or sowing my seeds out here. I've also got this wire hanging here. <laughs> this is a little solar panel I had just stuck up there and kind of wedged in our cattle panels. It's not really pumping, but that is powering this little pump here. We don't really have a whole lot of activity to push that. It's just a slow pulse every once in a while. We filled that up with our little solar powered pump here. We've just been running everything, basically kind of interchangeably switching everything from this system and being able to run our fan. You can see how the condensation is basically evaporating by our fan because it's picking that up and moving it around definitely need more ventilation in here so what i'm thinking is i'd like to get a thousand watts or better to power everything in this greenhouse but this little 100 watt solar panel and solar controller system has worked wonderfully and it's been a great experiment and i've used it for many many different things you can see all of my aquaponics boxes we have been setting these up we've got our 110 or 100 120 gallon container that these are sitting on we've pretty well excavated a lot of this out of here just kind of changing everything around gonna level all this out and use it for tarps because we have shade cloth on both ends of the greenhouse because i got two 20 by 20 shade cloths from winamin or something like that i apologize if i didn't pronounce that correctly i can drop a link to the shade cloths that i bought and they are nice quality and they were not very expensive i believe they were maybe 30 to 40 dollars a piece and speaking of costs these solar powered lights this 50 foot string of lights that are outdoor weatherproof so hopefully i get some good longevity out of these they cost under $50. I want to say it was around $47. I'm going to drop a link to those in the description below or in the comment. Now, like I said, we're going to come back out here tonight and I want to check on these lights and see how well they actually shine and if they light this up. Because having a couple hours of lighting will be very beneficial for me. Early morning, I'll be able to turn that light on because I won't always have it running. I can store the energy and turn it on when I want to. So I can come out here any night and be able to use that system and do some work in here because after my kids go to bed I can get some work done so this is going to help me manage my time basically I'm going to have more access to my greenhouse because I don't have electricity ran out here and I only have my 100 watt solar panel and a bunch of tiny 10 to 15 watt solar panels running other miscellaneous items and fans such as this little fan here which is barely running we have a lot of plants that are thriving in here and getting this shade cloth up really dampened that bright bright hot sunlight that the spring was throwing at us we had a nice heat wave and then we came back down and had some decently cold and freezing temperatures so we're kind of dealing with the best of both worlds here trying to shade and keep warm at the same time still so we're going to take a quick break and i will be back to check this out tonight in the dark so being able to have more access to my greenhouse being late at night i can come out here 
or vice versa I can come out here early morning and I can do a little bit of work I can grab all of my plants up if it's raining outside I can come in here and do a little bit of work there is a lot of uses now that I have some light for this greenhouse and I'm pretty impressed with how well this is working and I'm kind of impressed that our little fan is still running this little guy is running off the battery that our 100 watt solar panel had charged up all day so we got ourselves a nice deep cycle battery that's holding that charge that was from a car and it's still running the battery deep into the night we haven't had any good sunlight all day it's been overcast like i showed earlier and as we move into the night time like i said it's like nine o'clock at night and that's pretty impressive that that's still running this 50 foot $50 solar light kit is definitely an A in my book. It is not nearly as bright as I would like it with naturally plugging into a wall and being used to like super bright LEDs and stuff. These little two watt LEDs definitely are brighter than I thought they would be. So I'm really impressed with the light that they are casting off inside the greenhouse. I will be able to work in here and I will be able to add additional light as I go. Like I said, I have my little solar system running that fan. I would be able to run another little light or a nice bright LED light off of that for a couple hours into the night also because they are such low draw system. This greenhouse definitely looks pretty cool at nighttime. It's kind of creepy outside. We have nothing but cornfields all around us. So we are just sitting out here in the middle of nowhere. Getting a little bit of light in this greenhouse is a bonus because we don't have much light out here other than the one big light up on our pole. So having this little bit of extra light is a bonus for us. We are going to be able to get much more work done and work later into the night. I noticed that coming down the section, the lights are definitely brighter down by the battery as opposed to down at this end and i'm not sure how the wiring runs inside of the actual wire here but this is a nice waterproof system so hopefully this works for me for quite some time and hopefully on a sunny day we have a good charge from this i wanted to show an overcast day just for the first starters and i want to show a nice bright sunny day to see what kind of energy we can store and bank and i want to kind of build upon my other solar powered systems also this wasn't my normal update this was more like a review and just kind of a walkthrough of the greenhouse and all of the changes i've been making in this 50 dollars solar powered light system we got this because it was waterproof so we're hopefully going to get some good longevity out of this and be able to use this for years to come because we will make our money back off of this being able to have that extra hour or two or couple hours to work in the night or during the daytime because i can shut these off and use them tomorrow morning if i need to if anybody's got any questions drop them in the comments below i will be dropping the link to these lights in the comment section below also so i want to thank everybody for watching and until next time